Okay, so after 50 days on the trail, you may want to ask me something like, why are you doing this? Yeah, okay, Daniel, it's cool that you believe Jesus and God and the Bible and all that good stuff, but, but can't you just keep it to yourself? Can't you just keep it within your little church walls on Sunday and, and, and just not bother the rest of us with it? Well, I could, but see, here's the deal. As a Christian and as a Bible believer, I, I believe and I understand that we have two choices in life, two choices in eternity. See, number one is we can pay for our own sins ourselves. Or number two, we can let God take care of it for us. Now, if we do number one, pay for it ourselves, then, then that's like, that's, that's bad news. That's eternal separation from God, that's hell. Okay, if I really believe that, then how much must I really hate somebody to not tell them the truth? Think about that. And I'm not perfect. I still, I still walk past people every day. Every single day that I'm out here, every single day that I live, is another day of missed opportunities. Each day is also filled with all sorts of blessings and all sorts of cool stuff that happens, but that doesn't change the fact that every single day, tons of people on this planet die. And it's easy for us to say, there's always tomorrow. But for a lot of people around this planet, there is no tomorrow. You might not have a tomorrow. And so we have to live in the moment. We have to live in this moment and realize that eternity is before us. Every second of every day is another opportunity to step into eternity. If not for you, for somebody else. And so yeah, it would probably be pretty easy if I was an atheist and could just believe what I want to believe and, and I would believe that whatever people believe doesn't really matter. But as a Christian, as a Bible believer, I know that what you believe matters. That's the ultimate thing, is what you believe. And that would, be, that would be incredibly inhumane of me to let my friends and family and people slip into eternity without telling them what God did for them. Because if I just stand by and let people die in their own sins, I'm just as much to blame as they are. And yeah, especially here in America, it would be easy enough for people just to pick up the Bible and study it themselves and they would find out these things. But for the rest of you that have grown up in this country, you know that that's not an option that people take. It's very rare that people actually pick up the Bible and read it and study it and learn about the things of God. And so that's why it's up to wacky people like me to walk across the country and tell people, hey, here's what God did for you. Oh, by the way, here, God loves you. How cool is that? So if I did just believe what I want to believe, and I just go to church once or twice a week, and I keep my beliefs inside those four little walls and don't ever come out into the real world with it, well then, how good of a Christian am I? How pathetic is that? How pathetic is that to not even have the desire to share with people out in the world what's going on? I can't honestly receive the gift of eternal salvation from God into my own life and then keep it quiet and hide it from everybody else. That's insane. That's not cool. That is inhumane. So if there's anything that I would like to learn from this whole experience, I would like to learn how to be a more effective Christian. I would like to be able to communicate to people better, to friends, to family, to strangers on the street. I want to be able to tell everybody about what God's done for them. And that's why I'm doing this. And so I hope you'll stay tuned and check out the rest of the adventures because uh, I got a little ways left to go. So until next time, this is Daniel and I'm coming to you from Lebanon, New Hampshire. Yeah.